Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at how different types of hormones work in cell signaling. And we'll remember that hormones are secreted by glands in the body. And ultimately, we can break them down into different groups, but they break down basically into the steroid groups, which are made out of cholesterol by putting different functional groups on the cholesterol molecules and the protein-based hormones, which are polymers of amino acids. Some of the protein-based ones are also modified versions of amino acids or dipeptides, but we can break them down to those two basic groups, steroid hormones or protein hormones. Now, the basic difference between these two types of hormones and how they work comes down to what they're made out of. Uh, the steroid-based hormones are versions of cholesterol, uh, so they're nonpolar, so they're going to be able to get right into cells across the cell membrane. Uh, they're still going to bind with a receptor, but they're going to do that all inside the cytoplasm of the cell. The protein-based hormones, they're really, really big, and overall they're typically polar, so they're not going to be able to enter cells typically. They're going to bind to their receptors on cell membranes. So here we've got to look at how a steroid hormone is going to work. And steroid hormones are basically going to cross right through um, the cell membrane. They're going to be able to get across because they're nonpolar molecules. will get right in between those phospholipids and they'll get into the cytoplasm of the cell. Uh, the receptors typically are proteins. They're floating around the cytoplasm and those steroid hormones will link up and bond with their receptors, as we can see up kind of in the top. So that steroid hormone there in red has met up with its receptor in green, and that hormone receptor complex is going to move through the cytoplasm, and what's gonna happen is eventually, it's going to move into the nucleus of the cell, where it's going to cause and interact with uh, a gene, or a set of genes, and it's going to result in a protein being formed through the action of protein synthesis. And then that protein uh, over there on the far right hand side, that protein can go and affect or effect a cellular function in whatever particular way uh, the system is designed to use. So that's steroid hormone function. The hormones move right across the cell membrane, bind with their receptors in the cytoplasm. That's hormone receptor complex directly moves into the nucleus and it turns on the making of proteins known as protein synthesis in some way for a particular gene and the result is a protein that then has an action on this particular cell and changes the way it operates. Now protein hormones are a little bit different. Uh, they're typically lar much larger molecules than the steroid hormones. They're polymers of amino acids. So they're floating through that extracellular fluid. And instead of being able to cross that plasma or cell membrane, they're going to bind to their receptors on the outside of the cell. And there's an example of a protein-based hormone binding with its receptor. Now, there's lots of different systems that work with the protein-based hormones, uh, but one of the most common is the idea of the creation of a second messenger. So what happens is, is when this protein binds with its receptor, it sets in motion, essentially, a domino-type effect. So this domino-type effect for protein-based hormones, essentially, what it does is the binding of this protein to its receptor here uh, sets in motion another protein that ends up producing what's known as a G protein. And that G protein ends up kind of turning on or activating a different protein known as adenylate cyclase. And then this protein adenylate cy cyclase takes an ATP molecule, rips off two phosphate groups off it, and forms this molecule known as C-A-M-P for short, or CAMP, of uh, its longer name is cyclic adenosine monophosphate, or cyclic AMP, and that molecule is what's known as a second messenger, and then this cyclic AMP molecule, this second messenger, goes off and off and activates or shuts down enzymes and changes the way metabolism is operating inside those cells. So that's the two basic types of hormones. We've got the protein-based hormones, 
where we bind with the receptor on the outside of the cell, set in motion a domino effect, and end up with a second messenger that does something to enzymes and metabolism inside that cell. Or we've got the steroid hormones that get to go right across the cell membrane, bind to the receptors in the cytoplasm, and then they are going to go off and get into the nucleus and create different types of proteins that change the functioning of those cells. So those are the two basic types of hormone action that happen inside cells to cause changes.